What's going on YouTube here? I have a Mystery Ranch Tech Holster and I have my everyday carry items in here and I want to go ahead and weigh it for you. <clears throat> so right about one pound, two ounces. And I'll give you the dimensions here real quickly. So it's about four inches by, I would say seven. And the depth of it is about two and a quarter and you know you don't have to put as much stuff as I did in here but I'm showing you for example you know why I like this pouch so you can put your belt loop through here you can put it on mole put on different packs what have you <clears throat> you could also get a lanyard for this uh so I would check mystery ranch uh website to get more familiar with their products they're more of a hunting brand and backpack uh, they have really durable products here you can see i have weather resistant zipper so that's nice it also has this elastic band for the front so i'll get into my first tool which is a bench made uh what griptilian so you can see the wear and tear on this blade it's d2 steel I believe it's about eight inches long, three and a half inch blade and a four and a half inch handle. So it feels really good in my hands. I have pretty big hands, but overall great knife. It was fairly cheap for a bench made. It was about a hundred dollars, I think when it came out, but overall a great knife. And I love the ambidextrous uh, lock here. That's cool, and it also has thumb studs on both sides. And you can also switch the belt clip to the other side if you like. I'm a lefty. I don't really care which side the belt clip goes on. This feels good to me to not have it resting against the inside of my palm. <clears throat> you don't need a bench-made knife. You can easily go with something like this. This is a Roku knife. This is a inexpensive knife that gets the job done has a window breaker pretty much looks almost identical except for this one has serrated blade and price in the steel so you don't always have to buy expensive things for your edc <clears throat> here is a milwaukee sharpie i like buying these because it's a dollar fifty and they're convenient and you don't have to buy a whole pack of them so that's the front pocket there. <clears throat> and then here in the main compartment, it is got a whole bunch of stuff in here, but here's a notepad. So if I work and I need to write down notes of things I need to remember throughout the day, I can write them down. I have some zip ties in there. Up next, I have a Stanley screwdriver this is about five dollars and it's double-sided for a smaller screwdriver or a smaller flathead i find this a easy convenient tool that's not too big but it is made out of plastic so i don't know the durability of this thing i would not pry anything with that <clears throat> up next i have a gerber pry braid so i love multifunctional tools this has a pry bar that's well made and it also has a utility knife, you know, cutting straps of lumber and other things like that, opening up boxes, great overall tool. I know a lot of people carry Milwaukee, but this is thin. I know it doesn't have a belt clip, but this is a great useful tool. <clears throat> I also have about six band-aids in there in case I cut myself with any of my tools or on any type of lumber. Here I have a MicroStream flashlight. This is about $30 and I would say if you're looking at flashlights, start with this one. This is a well-made flashlight. It's rechargeable so you don't have to keep on buying batteries. has a hat clip, belt clip. On high, it's battery life is an hour and a half. And on low, it's three hours. So I may need to charge this once a month. <clears throat> here, 
here I have a Cobra Nipex or Nipex Cobra SX. Great set of pliers. If you turn a lot of bolts or odd shaped things, this really grabs a hold of it. I could easily grip a three inch T25 in a board and unscrew it with this thing. So great little set of pliers. They are four inches long and they cost about $38. Here I have some clear eyes in case I get any, you know, dust or uh, sawdust in my eyes. A thing of super glue. This is about $3, so that's an easy thing to put in here. A set of latex gloves. <clears throat> and I believe that's it for this pouch. You know, with all this different assortment, I can handle... A variety of different tasks or things so you got a little bit of medical writing screwdriver so working in construction you need multiple things to help you out throughout the day and this mystery ranch tech holster is a great thing to help you out you could also fit this in your back pocket and it will be, fit there as long as you have a bigger set pockets like I usually wear. But thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.